Hello class, welcome back to your English class. Today we are going to be a scientist again. Today is Friday of, Friday of science. So let's begin. As I mentioned on the previous video, uh, there are some materials that we're going to use and you already know them. But first, hold on. I know that you are trying to, to guess what we are going to do today. But hold on, right? First, we are going to uh, do a little exercise to wake up, all right? And it's going to be really simple. We're going to make a combination of claps, right? First, we clap normal, and then we clap with the out with the outer part of the hand, okay? This part. Ready? Faster. Good class. All right, now that we're awake, let's see what is the topic of today. Exactly, today we're going to learn about jellyfish. And not, not exactly jellyfish, we're going to learn about buoyancy. Buoyancy is the property of an object to float on water, okay? Pretty interesting. Okay, as you can see, the jellyfish floats on the water and they control if they go up or down. Can you think of another, can you think of another animal that floats? If you know, write it down in the comments, all right? I wanna see your answers. And why do you think they float? Hmm. Think about it. And meanwhile, you think about it, guess what? Today we're going to make a jellyfish in a bottle. Yeah, all right, let's do it. So as you remember, we are going to need a bottle or a jar, a plastic bag, a uh, rubber band, water, and, and watercolors. Here I have it, we're going to use Blue, I guess this is blue, it looks black, but this is blue, right? Blue uh, watercolors, and that's it, that's, that's all that you need, okay? Let's begin with this science experiment. All right, class, the first thing you want to do is take your uh, glass of water, glass of water, sorry, take your, your jar or your bottle with cap, it's really important, it needs to have cap. Right? And we're going to fill it with water. About there, right? Water. Now we're going to use the blue watercolor to turn this into the color of the ocean. Blue, right? So we take some paint. So we take some watercolor. If you have food coloring, that works too. Okay, but I only have watercolors. And that's enough. We close. We agitate, so all the color mixed together, okay? Perfect, okay? Next step, cut our plastic bag here and here to make a square, right? There. Okay, so we have this like a square, all right? And the next step is going to be put it on top, on top of the, of the bottle. And we're going to use this to fill it with some water, okay? So we're going to push 
to make a little hole. Okay, and we're going to pour water here a little bit. Bet. Okay. And now, very careful, we lift it. As you can see, there's water inside of the elastic bag. Okay. Now, we take the rubber band and we're going to cut it too there okay because we're going to secure this with the rubber band so we're going to make a little knot here like that. and again really secure There. And now you can cut the rest. This is going to be something like this. There's some water inside, you can see. And now we can cut this uh, plastic to make it look like the tentacles of the jellyfish, right? So we're going to use our scissors and we're going to make some cuts. See, it looks like a jellyfish. Now the fun part. We're going to put it inside uh, this glass with water. Like that. And we're going to pour a little bit more water. There. Now, Take your cap, secure, really secure, really tight, and there you have it, check it out, wow, as you can see, the jellyfish is moving always up it always goes up that is called buoyancy and why does this happen well it happened because inside of the of the little head that we make for the jellyfish we leave some bubbles of air inside along with the water so that bubbles of air make the jellyfish more buoyant okay because air is less dense than water. That's why it always goes up trying to float. Amazing, right? Excellent. So class, let me know what do you think about this experiment or the comments below. You already know. What do you think? Pretty nice, huh? Excellent. Remember to send the pictures of the experiment to the correct email. And I hope that you like this video and I will see you next week. All right? Okay. Uh, send the pictures, all right? I, did I already say that? Send the pictures to the correct email? Yes. Okay. I will see you later. Take care and be safe.